Hello everybody and welcome to this video. In this lesson, we are going to look at subjective pronouns, B verbs, but with the B verb, we are going to focus on the present simple tense and contractions. Now, subjective pronouns are pronouns or words that are used in position of a subject in a sentence. And B verbs are verbs that are used to describe the state or the condition of a subject in a sentence. And in the present simple tense, we have the B verb is, are, and am. And with contraction, contraction is a more common, quicker, or faster way of saying a subjective pronoun with their B verbs. And it is always the best practice to use contractions when communicating. But with formal writing, using contractions is not the best practice. Now, at this point, we are going to look at the subjective pronouns with their corresponding B verbs and how the contractions look like. So, with the subjective pronouns, we have I, you, we, they, he, she, and it. And with a B verb, with I, goes with the verb am. So we say I am. And with a contraction, we say I am. I am. Now, you goes with a B verb are. So we say you are. And with a contraction, you are. You are, you are, and with we, we goes with the B verb are. So we are, and with a contraction, we are, we are. Now with they, they goes with the B verb are as well, and with a contraction, they are, they are, and with he, we go with is. So with he, the B verb is, is, and the contraction, his, his, and with she, the B verb is, is, and with a contraction, she is, she is. And finally, we have it, be the subjective pronoun with each B verb, the same, is, is, and the contraction, it's, it's. So basically, these are the subjective pronouns and their correct B verbs and how their contractions look like. So at this point, we are going to look at some more examples. So we are going to look at some examples of sentences with contractions. So number one, I am a teacher. I am a teacher. Now, Teacher in number one is a singular noun and it begins with letter T and T is a consonant. Therefore, we use the article A. So we say, I am a teacher. I am a teacher. And number two, you are a teacher. You are a teacher. Now, you in this sense is singular. You as one person. And the noun being the teacher is a singular noun and begins with a consonant as well. So we say, you are a teacher. Any noun that begins with a consonant has the article a. Now, number three, we are teachers. Now, in number three, teachers is a plural noun. And because it's a plural noun, there is no need for an article. That is why we say we are teachers. You don't say we are a teachers. No, it's very wrong. So we are teachers, no article. And number four, they are teachers. They are teachers. Now, teachers in number four is also plural noun. And it's because it's plural nouns, there is no need for an article. And number five, he's a teacher. He's a teacher. Now, number five, he, 
we're talking about one person, could be a boy or a man. And the teacher in number five is a singular noun. So therefore, we use the article a, because a singular noun teacher begins with a consonant, letter T. And number six, she's a teacher. She's a teacher. Teacher in number six is also singular now. So we use the article a. So she's a teacher to symbolize one person, one teacher being a girl or a woman. And number seven, it's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. Now, rabbit in this sense is a noun and it's a singular noun. And because it's a singular noun and begins with a consonant letter R, we use the article R. So we say, it's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. So now, I want you to write the subjective pronoun and be verb in this sentence in a contraction. So they are my parents. They are my parents. So you put this sentence in a contraction and you put your answer in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next video. Goodbye.